Hey there, Capricorn. Welcome to Zen Tarot. My name's Julie. I'm going to do a Zodiac Energy reading for you, Capricorn, for the week of August 29th, right into September. So September, here we come. Ready or not. If you like this video, Capricorn, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. <clears throat> And if you'd like a personal reading from me, my email address is in the description box below. Capricorn, work through your fears, Capricorn. That is the new moon in Scorpio. What's at the bottom? It's time to release negativity. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> work through your fears. Let's see. What kind of spirit animal is walking with Capricorn? Capricorn. I saw the camel wanted to come out there. Maybe you've got the resources you've been working. Look at this. The vulture comes out instead. It's kind of the tower card with the shark. So it is time to pick through all of these fears that are holding you back, all of the things that are holding you back so that you can move forward get out of this cycle. Let's see. Zebra on the bottom of the deck. You're starting to see things differently. You're starting to come into some understandings that not everything is black and white, that there is some gray area here. Let's see. Let's see. What kind of tarot is sitting up in the ether for Capricorn? Ten of Earth, Ten of Pentacles. I love this. This is uh, abundance, a lot of abundance coming your way, Capricorn. I love this. Nine of Fire on the bottom of the deck. That's Nine of Wands. You've been carrying some burdens. Carrying some burdens, but you are letting those go. And you're picking away at them with the Vulture, too, as well. So looking back, looking back at all of these little things that may have held you back, fears. Let's see. What are you thinking about? What is Capricorn thinking about? Capricorn, what you thinking about? What is on your mind? Hanged man, you've been sitting in this energy, energy for quite some time. King of Swords, look at you. <laughs> so your sword is down. You have battled. You've gained some wisdom. You are starting to see some magic in the world, too. You're starting to see things a little bit differently. There's some kind of epiphany or understanding coming into Capricorn. Three of Cups, celebration, celebration, hanging out with friends, family, and just really celebrating. What else? What else is going on for Capricorn? Oh, there's my Archangel Michael card to say, I am here with you. I have your back. I am protecting you with the truth. So Archangel always comes, Archangel Michael always comes in with the truth. And balance. So you're gaining some balance here. You're gaining some balance when it comes to money and to groups, teamwork, um, cooperation. You're coming into some real balance here. Two of swords. Look at this in the heart space. So there's a decision, a decision you're thinking about. And maybe that's just moving out of this cycle, letting go of some of these fears with the vulture and the shark there, just really being nitpicky about your fears and what is holding you back. Are there people holding you back? Are there situations holding you back? Finances holding you back? Just really fine tuning what is holding me back. Five of Wands, competition coming into the heart space. So you're feeling a little competitive or you're comparing yourself to others and um, you're still vying for that light though, reaching for that light. You've been doing that for quite some time with the King of Swords here, but you didn't have the wisdom that you have now. So I think you're going to be able to grab that dream that you're going for here. What else? What else is in the heart space for Capricorn? Oh, that devil comes out. Look at this. Capricorn energy, you're coming into your own reading. I have to believe that with these other cards of competition here, there are some habits, there's some things holding you back that you've always done. I've always done it this way, so I have to continue because you're not really sure of any other way to do it. You don't see any other paths opening for you to do it. 
a different way, but that's become quite toxic to you when you keep repeating the same pattern and expecting a different result. You're just trying harder, trying harder. So let's see. Let's see what else. <clears throat> Queen of Swords. Oh, look at that. We have the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords. You and your heart are feeling like the Queen of Swords, though you're feeling very solo, very um, independent when it comes to this because you've done it your way for a very long time. It's been done a certain way here at Capricorn. So you're really looking back and seeing, well, how can I change this? What I need to change because when I'm not changing, nothing is changing. So you're looking at your patterns, your behaviors, your habits, what can I let go of to help me move forward here? What can I release to help me move forward here? A lot of that I'm seeing is fears here, fear of the unknown, fear of others um, taking you down or, or holding you back. And so that's why you're feeling a little bit like this is a solo journey right now. Like you have to do this on your own. Maybe you do. Maybe you do. Look at the cards that wanted to come out, though. The Chariot, the Four of Wands, the Tower, Strength, and Nine of Pentacles. I mean, you have some wishes fulfilled here. You have some kind of unexpected news, some kind of surprise coming in here. Coming in really, really, really quickly here with the Tower and the Chariot. That is surprising here because something's coming in for you, Capricorn. Something's coming in very fast and I think it's going to remove some of these old patterns, some of these toxic... Um, Oh, habits, I guess. I'm thinking that they're habits, but with the four of wands here and the chariot, there is a finish line here. There's a finish line. You can see it. You can feel it. You know, it's close here. So it's going to come in very unexpectedly. It's like when you're waiting for the pot to boil and it just never does because you're watching it. You're, you're so focused on that pot boiling water that it just doesn't happen. And then as soon as you turn your back, bam, there's that pot boiling over. So that's exactly what's happening here when you're coming into the week of the 29th. It's like you're looking at these old patterns. You're doing things the exact same way over and over because this is the way you've done it. This is the way my parents did it. This is the way everybody does it. I have to do it this way. So you're doing that. And now all of a sudden you're getting these inclinations to cut some of these ways that you're doing it, to detoxify some of your programs, some of your patterns here, and to release yourself of it because it's simply holding you back. It's holding you back from reaching your highest potential or your highest goal. And so you're starting to come into some understandings of why not? Why not? Why not change this up? Why not try this a different, uh, why not try a different approach to this? And that's, uh, intriguing to you. You really are intrigued by these ideas of doing things a little bit differently, maybe doing it on your own or, or um, venturing off and starting some kind of new project here. But you're going to have to release some of these fears holding you back for some of these habits that is your go-to. It's your go-to. Something, some kind of word spoken here. Something comes in by surprise. I'm definitely going to clarify this tower card with this devil card here. But something comes in and really, really surprises you. But it's some kind of shocking news, some kind of um, words coming in with the Queen of Swords here. But, but something that really blows you away, just really shocks you with the Four of Wands and the Chariot here. I got to believe that it is a happy surprise, something happy coming in for you. There's not too much other than this competition card in your heart that just makes me feel like you're you're comparing yourself to others. You're saying, well, they did it this way, so I'm going to try it this way. And instead of trying it, venturing out on your own way to take little bits and pieces of how you used to do it with you, you're looking around to see, well, how else can I do it? Which, of course, how, how else can you do a different way if you're not observing others doing it their way? So, But something, something comes in really shocking um, in a good way that says um, a big reward coming in for you changing things up, for you doing things differently here. So there is a reward there, a big shocking <laughs> reward there. Three of Cups again in the mind space. So you are working on some kind of team. You're working very well together. You are um, feeling their support and they are feeling your support. So communication seems to be going fairly well into this week where people are understanding what you're saying and vice versa. So that's, that's really great to see. And you've got three, uh, two, three of cups here. So that's just confirmation. You've got seven sisters in the sky. There may be seven people on this team or in this family that's kind of working together. But um, let's see, let's see what else. Get some clarification on that king. There's the nine of pentacles again. So you've got two nine of pentacles. This is you reaching for something new, something different, and it makes you very happy. 
makes you feel independent because you did this. So you're giving yourself the credit for the win. <laughs> I love this. I love this because we're so used to giving ourselves credit for the failures. <laughs> but Capricorn, you're coming into some time here where you're giving yourself some credit for the wins because you know what you had to sacrifice to get the win. So you're, you're uh, very proud of yourself. Somebody comes in, really shocks you and says, I'm proud of you too, or good job or here. And that just really surprises you. I can't wait to get some clarification on that. Seven of Pentacles, you have been working really, really hard at this. You've been a little bit bored at doing the same thing over and over again, though. You just keep thinking, isn't this insanity? I'm doing the same exact thing and getting the same results. I have to change things up. How am I going to get different results if I'm doing the same exact thing? So you're starting to think about that. You're starting to question your processes and how you can change that to bring in the pentacles, to bring in the wishes fulfilled when it comes to money and finances and really having a grip on that. So Knight of Cups, here's more emotion coming in, more offers of love, more words, more comfort, more support, more, more of the emotions, more of the emotions coming in to soothe your thoughts, to kind of rid you of any kind of fears when it comes to uh, fear of being abandoned or fear of being rejected. You're, you're coming into some solid energy where that's not such a priority in your life. Now, now the fear is failure. You don't want to fail. You don't want to work this hard just to get, you don't want to get this far just to get this far. I mean, you put in a lot of work into some money here and into, into uh, finances here. So that's definitely going to pay off for you, but you're going to find this kind of merging of emotion and finances where you're feeling really good about it. It's not like you're feeling like you snuck away with something. Look at you on the bottom of the deck again with more devil energy. So, but I think that's just because I'm reading Capricorn and um, you're just showing up. <laughs> well, hello, Capricorn. Queen of Wands, look at this. So you're using some spirituality now. You're using inspired action to make these moves, to make these um, changes, these changes in your heart, Capricorn. You truly are changing here. You're changing your foundation. You're changing your core beliefs here. And that is really, really awesome because since you're changing so much, so much is going to change for you. And you're going to start seeing these changes very, very soon. So that is just beautiful. Five is a number of change as well. So, so you're creating these changes. You're creating these new ways to do things. And, um, you're just, you've got no fear, no fear. You're just going for it. Just going for it. Death and Rebirth says you're going to see it all differently, especially when we had that zebra card come out too. So yeah, you're going to be seeing it all differently now because you're doing everything differently now. Seven of Cups, options open wide up for you. Death and Rebirth, King of Swords again, and the Five of Pentacles. So yeah, this is definitely about money and finances. King of Swords, I'm going to put right here. We've got the King of Swords and King of Swords here. So you have battled. Your sword is up in your heart space, though you're still a little bit guarded. You're seeing some competition around you, and that is making you a little bit guarded. You don't want people to come in and steal your glory after all this hard work. But up in your mind space, your sword is down, and you're gaining wisdom, and you're gaining some understanding of how you can change things and how you can see things a little bit differently. There's mountains in the background here. This has been a journey for you. This has been a journey. But Capricorn, I'm happy to say you have made it about the journey more than the destination here because you're changing things up. And whenever we look at what we can change, how we can better ourselves, how we can look at things differently, that reaps huge rewards. You're reaping huge rewards here next after that. So, I mean, it's just beautiful. You're, the money is definitely coming in for you. If you've been afraid of living in lack, living in not enough, I need more, I need more love, I need more money, I need more, more, more. Um, that's about to change really, really drastically for you. Something's about to come in for you. If if I had to say, you know, um, if well, I, I can see it's money, Capricorn. I can see it's money because of all the pentacles and then the tower here. So something big is coming in for you to change everything. And it's going to be like, yeah, I did this. I earned this. I, I changed something to make this happen. Seven of Cups. So there is the um, options opening wide open, especially when you got some kind of power couple coming into focus here. Maybe not in September, but by the holidays, by December, by the end of this year, you're going to really feel solid with, with a partner here and on the same page and um, not so left out. The two of you have felt a little excluded for quite some time here, but you're not going to be left felt so left out. You're going to be um, feeling much more um, 
part of it, part of it, enveloped in it, you know, uh, that you did this together. So you're going to be feeling some unity there when it comes to this partner of yours, some kind of power couple coming into play for 2023. So that's beautiful. Death and rebirth on top of the nine of pentacles. So this worry, this stress about money and finances and how is this going to work? And I don't have enough coming in and I don't have enough time to do more. And, and how does this work? You're having a big revelation when it comes to money, a big change of how money comes in and how it can flow to you and how it can flow easily to you without so much effort, without you working it out every single little detail like you're doing up here. You're just working out every single detail. And that has been burdensome. It is time to lay down some of those burdens of planning. And uh, I mean, it's almost like you're just an accountant here trying to, to plan out every single thing. And then these emergencies come in and really knock you off your feet. So um, yeah, so you're planning for, uh, emergencies as well too, but then that always surprises us, right? Capricorn, we can't plan for everything. I know you're a great planner and this is what you do. <laughs> Capricorn says, this is what I do, but you've got strength to plan in other areas of your life here as well in emotional abundance and in this partnership that's coming into focus here, this power couple that's coming into focus here that you've worked really hard at establishing this, this stable foundation here. And you've got some surprises. The universe says you can't plan everything because we're going to come in and we're going to surprise you. And what good would it be if you knew what all the surprises were, if you knew what you're going to, to be, to have, to eat for the rest of your life, how boring would that be? We want some surprises in our life. So the universe is coming in to, spirit is coming in to say, surprise, <laughs> but you're going to be happy. You're going to like this surprise. It's going to show you that you can't plan for everything that sometimes the universe just makes it work out as well too. So all of this hard planning, it's like it, what I'm seeing here is a scenario where you've planned for years and years for something you've saved, you've, you've uh, really sacrificed and put something away for something else. So you've really planned on this, on this day, I'm going to do this, I'm going to buy this, I'm going to do this. And then bam, something drastically changes where you don't even want that anymore after you've you know, earned all of that money for it or worked so hard for it. You, you found this other thing over here that had, was a little shiny or a little brighter, a little made your heart sing a little bit more. Plus you were looking at this one for so long that it became a little bit boring to you, became a little stagnant to you because you were daydreaming about it for so long. So, so your dreams changed and that kind of startled you a little bit because that's not really typical of you to have your dreams change like that midstream. But boy, the universe had that planned out for you. I mean, that was their plan. So, so life is what happens to us while we're busy planning for it, Capricorn. And this is a prime example of that happening, of life happening while you've been planning for something else. Take that as it comes. The universe is giving you a gift here. It has to do with money. It has to do with pentacles and you feeling the lack of. So take this gift for what it is. It's going to come to you out of the blue. It's going to really shock you and it's going to feel a little bit like you don't deserve it because you were so busy working over here and planning over here and then bam here this comes true for you over here and you, you hadn't really spent much time on this idea over here you had your back to it because you were so busy looking over here so it's going to be really surprising you're going to feel a little undeserving of this money coming into you capricorn you deserve this. You did this. It's just another avenue that spirit was showing you that you don't have to plan for everything that think dreams do come true, even if you don't plan for them. So accept this gift, accept that you did this, that you asked spirit for this consciously or subconsciously. And the, the dream came true. It may not look the way you thought it was going to look, but it's going to be so much sweeter, so much brighter, so much happier. It's like when somebody cooks you dinner, it just tastes so much better because you didn't cook it. You didn't plan for it. You didn't have to shop for it. You didn't uh, smell it all day. By the time you sit down to eat it, it's just not even tasting good because you've smelled it all day. That's what you're doing here. You're looking at this dream. You've been looking at it your entire life. You've been smelling it your entire life. You've been feeling it. How would that feel? I can't wait to get this dream. And then bam, here comes this other dream, this hidden dream out of the blue from spirit. And it helps you to move on from a lot of these fears that, that the plan wasn't going to work, that it was all going to unravel. It really helps you to move on from those fears because here it is. Here it is. So, oh God, this is huge. And this is 
beautiful Capricorn. I, I really love this. You're going to have to let me know if this resonates with you. And um, yeah, leave me a comment about this. The moon. So see, spirit is holding back, not showing you everything. This is a surprise party for Capricorn. This is a, a big surprise for you, a big, happy surprise for Capricorn. And I love it because you were so busy looking over here. You were so focused on this dream over here. And here comes spirit out of, out of left field to surprise you with this other dream of yours. And it, and it, uh, it's so much better. It tastes so much better. It feels so much better. It, it is so much better than what you had ever possibly imagined. So I love this. All right, Capricorn, if you like this reading, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. Can't wait to hear what this is all about. And um, I hope you have a fantastical week. I will definitely tune in with you soon. Thank you so much.